just something interesting for you to know, Olivia. I, Ian is now also training some of the girls here in the Philippines. Oh my gosh! Oh, I'm so excited. I need to reconnect. <laughs> Have some uh, icebreaker, and we call this portion uh, the Instagram photo raid. So we kind of um, got uh, through some photos um, on your Instagram page and <laughs> on, <laughs> on the Miss Universe page, and we, we're going to flash a couple of photos, and you can provide some fun bits or just a, a story of the uh, of the picture. Um, our first photo is coming right up. Up. <laughs> All right, here's the. Oh, there, there it is. Oh, how cute. Hi, Mo. He's so grown up now. This was the day that we adopted um, Milo, our rescue pup, and it was love at first sight. I love him so much. Still do. Yeah, how and Milo. How old is he? He's two years now. Mm, I see. <laughs> Actually, he has been featured in the past few days in your Instagram stories, to be exact. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love him so much. All right. Cute photo. Next. Uh, Next photo. photo. Okay. Where's the <laughs> Okay. So while we're waiting for the second oh, photo to be up, <laughs> here it is. Oh, my gosh. J-Lo. Okay, I am the biggest JLo fangirl. It's like she's my idol, my icon. I want to be her. You can see in this photo, I did like the high pony in honor. In retrospect, never wear the high pony next to JLo because you can never do the high pony as good as JLo, but lesson learned. Um, but this was my last night as Miss USA, my final. Oh. This was the end. And um, this was actually sort of a gift from the Miss Universe organization that Pia and I got to go together and see her in Vegas. And it was such a fun night and like the most wonderful send off um, into, you know, what would come next? Because JLo is the ultimate representation that you never stop. You just go for the next goal. You you keep evolving and you and you keep going on to big things. All right. Yes. Okay. But be, be before, as we wait for the third photo, I just wanted to ask, because when you were passing the crown, I wanted to ask, you got also actually to watch the Backstreet Boys, right? Before you, before the crowning, am I not? Oh, no. yes. Yeah. Yes. So, how was it? Because it was obviously everybody. Because I know that the Backstreet Boys were also performing. If I'm not mistaken, they had what you call. I believe it's like their. Um, they they performed there as part of a, a tour in in hotels, right? right? So. Mm -hmm. How was it? How was it to like see the guys perform? That was, that whole night was very surreal because I'm like, you know, doing costume changes. I'm literally hugging everyone goodbye because all of these people on production that I've worked with for the last year, you're like, I leave, you know, the next, in it, within that show, I go from being like, you know, part of the family to be like, next, we have we have our new girl. So it was a very surreal moment. I don't even remember watching the Backstreet Boys because oh. I was literally so busy, like hugging makeup goodbye and hugging oh. you know, all of our team. Um, it was an emotional and, and beautiful night, but unfortunately I totally missed the Backstreet Boys. Oh, well, at least you got to meet J-Lo before. Yes. J -Lo. <laughs> all <laughs> right, third photo. So coming up, oh, uh, this one, yes, yes, our I wedding think. day. Um, this was November eighth, twenty nineteen, and just one of the happiest moments of my entire life. I don't think anything will top it, and I think you can just tell our faces. We were so excited and happy, and. It was the wedding of our dreams, you know, it was like 70 degrees outside and perfect. And um, we had just our very closest friends and family there. And especially now that we've done this whole year of lockdown, we are so, so grateful that we got to have that celebration. And my heart just breaks for all the people that, that are having to put that off or 
reconfigure and kind of, yeah. Yeah. All right. Now, okay. Now we're That's moving on to, to um on to our uh, fourth mm -hmm. photo. Yeah. And uh, this yeah. one I think was very inspirational. Uh, one uh, yeah. of the inspirational posts, Olivia. Mm -hmm. And this post uh, was up on your Instagram like four days after the Miss Universe pageant. Yes. Um, a lot uh, of really um got so very inspired about. Um, especially okay. about the quote, I think, uh, let me read wow. that to everyone. Okay. Um, I want to say, before you read it, this quote, um, it, it's always misattributed to me. It's actually Danny Walker. But uh, read the quote because it's incredible and her words are so inspiring. Okay. Correct. Um, so it says, uh, sometimes it's just not for us, the job, the interview, the man, or in this case, the crown. Sometimes it's just for someone else, not because they are better more qualified, prettier, nicer, superior to us, but because it is their opportunity, not ours. And that's okay because our opportunities, our job, our interview, the man of our dreams are not for them either. They're ours, and they're often right on the other side of rejection. So it's a very inspirational quote uh, yeah. um, that we posted on, on the Instagram so thank you for inspiring everyone. Um, I think, uh, well, personally, it's something that I always refer to, yeah. you know, every time that things don't go my way. And it would, yeah. It's like, you know, uh, a message that you're not really rejected, but definitely redirected to something else. And uh, yeah. it's your own journey. Yeah. So. And where I believe we're all, you know, divinely guided and where the things that aren't meant for us really do lead us to the things that are. So yes, it's it's hard in the moment um, to feel that rejection, but just know that even better, greater things are ahead. And the people that are filling those roles or dating those guys or whatever it is, that's meant for them. So like, we've got to celebrate that and, and uplift those people as well. All right, yeah. Oh, and the final photo is, I think is something that is very special to you because it was actually here that it was given to you. <laughs> oh my gosh, the best. Um, this was, of course, my national costume was an absolute moment for me. I, one of my, you know, lifelong looking up to, I would always look up to the Victoria's Secret models with their wings and, you know, their confidence on stage. And so when I was talking about national costume, I was like, this is my, you know, Victoria's Secret moment. Let's have the wings. Um, and so I, the U.S. symbol, uh, our animal is an American eagle, of course. So I was an eagle, but in a very glamorous way. <laughs> but I am absolutely obsessed. This is the most perfect depiction of my costume. Like this is spot on. He captured every detail. It's incredible. Yeah. And it's uh, it's actually, I think, I believe that doll was actually given to you if and we were not mistaken. I don't, I don't have it. It was, oh. it was presented to me and I, it was beautiful, but um, I believe oh. the designer still has it. I believe. Oh, okay. I'm not his name, but yes, absolutely. I, I'm okay not even having it because I know it exists in the world and it brings me joy. Yes, yeah. uh, Ian Lorenz, thank you. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> just a fact, uh, just something interesting for you to know, Olivia. Ian is now also training some of the girls here in the Philippines. Oh my gosh! Oh, I'm so excited. I need to reconnect. <laughs>